What's up guys, Matt here with Galaxy Games 843, back with another vending video. Today is not a collection video, but instead, it's a follow-up video to yesterday's video, where we talk about the problems we're having with this Dixie Narco 501E soda vending machine. So we opened it up, we hit the service switch, and we get a PB10 error. PB10. Can't find any info on that anywhere. But guys, I just want to thank you. I got lots of great comments yesterday in yesterday's video about things to look at, things to try. Obviously, I've been reading the um, service manual, trying to figure out what's going on. I did take the cover off, and column four was not in the home position. So column four obviously has some sort of issue. Um, I'm going to jump all around in this video today, checking different things, pulling sodas out. Um, I'm checking switches, trying to see if I can't figure out maybe if there's a bad switch or something like that. Just, I don't know, just looking for any issue that might, or anything that might be an issue. What I'm doing here, I'm running back to the vending truck. I'm going to grab an empty milk crate because what I'm going to do is probably pull all the cans out of column four just to make sure there's no jams, things like that. Um, for whatever reason though, it, I don't know why it would, it would stop not at the home position if there's not a jam. So let's go ahead and pull the cans out. Let's take a look. Ultimately, what you're going to find though is I didn't see a jam in there. I don't know. I don't know what the problem was. Um, after it homed, it went back fine. After I pulled the cans out and put them back in, so I'm just going to move this uh, kind of protective cage thing here to the side. We're going to pull out all of the grape sodas, and then we'll check for jams. Again, I don't find any jams or what I think is a jam, so I'm just going to set them in the in the uh, milk crate for now. Let's go ahead and pull all the sodas out. Once we get those out, we'll take a look inside. All right, we've got all the sodas pulled out. There's no issues there. I'm I'm trying to you know un under press the press or un unlatch the brake and make see if I can turn it at all. Nothing seems to be working. Um, I can't manually turn it, but I don't know if that's just I'm just not doing it right. Um, again, I'm you know obviously more used to the old single price soda machines. So these newer ones, I'm still learning a lot of a lot of things. And I do thank you all for your comments on yesterday's video about some of the things to look at, some of the problems. Again, I did, uh, you know, spend a lot of time reading through the manual and uh, wasn't quite sure. So now we're seeing JC4 and JC10. So JC4, jam column four is, is what we're working on column four right now. Um, it's going to home back into place in just a minute. Once I, I think I, I don't know if I press the, uh, press some buttons or whatever. There you go. So now it should be homing. And if we go over here, we can see it kind of moving back into place. There it goes. It's all good to go. So I can load the grape sodas back in. Column four should be clear at this point, so we should no longer get that JC4 error. But what's qu what I'm questioning now is that JC10 error. So this is a Dixie Narco 501E. It's only got nine columns, right? So what could that column 10 be erroring? And so I've done a little bit of research, read some online forums, and some people seem to think that when you see a JC10 error in a Dixie Narco 501E, which only has nine columns, that there could be a programming error and it thinks there's a tenth column so i never had this issue with a flashing decimal point before so i don't know that that's the case but ultimately i may end up just doing a full reset on this machine starting over having to reset all my prices again um, and all that stuff but uh i still don't know why it would be like that so i'm just kind of going through everything just making sure there's no menu system i have access to um, I'm trying to figure out what column 10 is though. I still can't figure out what column 10 is. I'm looking at column 9. Column 9 looks okay. Doesn't seem anything out of place there. I'm going to go ahead and hit that door switch and it should home any other, any other issues. Again, there's no column 10 to home though. So that doesn't make any sense to me. If you know what the heck is going on when it comes to column 10 or JC10 on a Dixie Narco 501E with 9 columns, put it down in the comments. Let me know what you think the issue could be and what the resolution could be. 
Also, if you've seen that PB10, when we first went into the menu system, it said PB10, and I can't find any documentation anywhere of any reference to PB10 or PB10. So if you know what that might be, put it down in the comments and let me know. There we go, I'm going back into the menu system, getting a JC10 error, and there is no 10 column. So that's got me a little bit baffled right now. So put it down in the comments, guys. Let me know what your um, thoughts are, what your next steps might be. Ultimately, I might just reset the machine and reprogram everything and see if that if that you know makes a difference. Otherwise, I'm kind of at a it struck out at this point. Everything else is working fine. Sales are being made, so I don't know if it's even that big of an issue at this point. Um, because again, there's no uh, <laughs> there's no other another, no other motors to check. Everything's in their home position now. Um, I don't have a column 10 to, to check for a jam, so I don't know. It is what it is. So with that said, I'm going to put the motor cover back on. I'm going to do some looking around. Um, one thing also I am in the process of doing is I am in the process of integrating into Vensoft software, right? So Vensoft is a basically a vending software where you you know track all your maintenance, your purchases, your sales, and it gives you a lot of nice reporting that you can use for tax purposes and things like that in the future. So but now I'm, um, we'll, we'll talk about that in just a minute. I'm just going to go ahead and test my buttons out to make sure all, everything, all the buttons are working. And that number nine button is not putting a price upon there. So that made me wonder, is, no, is column nine jammed or is number is column nine, you know, part of the problem with this JC10? Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Again, put it down in the comments. But what I was talking about with Vensoft is one thing I'm doing is I'm actually integrating uh, the Vensoft software into my business and tying it to my NIAX credit card readers. So one question that maybe some of you out there might know is if I don't have a DEX connection hooked up from the credit card reader to the actual machine, Will stuff like that still transfer over? Does that go through the DEX port or does it just go through the, the NIAX software? Something I'm learning and you know, none of you out there may have the answer or even know what the heck I'm talking about, but just know that going forward in the future, there'll probably be more videos where I share information about Vensoft and NIAX and tie them all together and kind of show how it's gonna work to help integrate and make your vending business easier to use. And especially when it comes to reporting and taxes, because Previously, I was doing everything on spreadsheets and it got to the point where it was just, I don't know if my formulas were exactly, you know, giving me the information I needed. So I'm making the switch, going to Vensoft. And again, the, there will be videos about Vensoft in the future and how it works. I'm currently going through the integration process as we speak. So I'm kind of recording information in two places, both my Excel sheets and Vensoft. And uh, you'll, you'll definitely see in the future how much that's going to benefit me. All right, we're pulling those Diet Mountain Dews out. But again, because I wasn't sure if there was an issue, that bottom button didn't register a price when I pressed it. And that could mean a, you know, a switch issue or something like that. I don't know, but I was just uh, kind of at my wits end at this point, not knowing what to check. So I wanted to check and make sure that there was no issues on column nine, even though it's saying column 10. Again, it says homing there, but again, there's nothing to home. So I'm not quite sure. I probably just wasted my time pulling all those Mountain Dews out of there. But again, I just wanted to check all my bases, make sure that everything I, I, I was doing was correct. So we're gonna go and put those back in because there's obviously not a jam in column nine. So I think it might just be a button or switch issue. And I've noticed sometimes in the cold, especially lately, some of the buttons don't respond well. And uh, who knows if it's just a weather issue or a cold issue or a temperature issue. Um, but ultimately, if I continue to see that happen, I might have to replace that button switch, which is that's an easy and cheap replacement. So not a big deal there. But I hope you guys like this style video where we kind of troubleshoot and thought and, you know, kind of figure out vending machine problems. I know, uh, you know, everybody in the vending business and myself included, most of our videos are all about filling up machines, pulling money out of machines. But there's a lot of other things that go into all this. Think about shopping for inventory. Think about maintenance to your machines, cleaning your machines and fixing problems. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that a lot of us don't show. And I'm gonna start including more of that kind of stuff too into my videos so you can see all around the vending business and just know it's not always a passive income as some people say, right? You don't just show up and collect the money. There's a lot that goes into it prior to. So I was just checking the coin max, all the good stuff, making sure everything's good to go. Let's see how much is in the cash box. And remember, we just collected yesterday. So there was like 30 cents in the cash box or in the, uh, in the coin bucket and a couple dollars in the cash box. Didn't have a good, uh, bunch of sales and there I'm testing to see if my dex cord will actually reach the dex port and it won't so I might have to look to see if there's like an extension cable or something like that I'm sure there's something like that out there so again I'm not sure if I need that dex connection to tie it into the Vensoft software but just know there's more to come on that 
All right, with that said, uh, JC10 still showing. Again, we don't have a column 10, so nothing to repair at this time. I'm gonna go ahead and mark this as solved because we did clear the, the jam on column four, and that's good to go. Everything else, I've had sales recently. There's no other um, issues. So again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna claim this is good to go, but just know that I still have that flashing decimal point on the display screen, which means there's still an error, and the error is JC10 but we don't have a column 10. So again, I'm gonna kind of leave it, leave it be for now. If you have any comments to add, add them below. And we appreciate your time watching our videos. Again, a little bit different today, not a vending service or collection video, but more of a maintenance video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is a bonus video too, not the midweek or weekend video, just a bonus video because I wanted to follow up. So with that said guys, it's time to lock this machine up and wrap this video up. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're working our way to that next milestone and we need your help to get there. So if you haven't done so yet, click that subscribe button, click that bell notification so you get notified when our new videos and our live streams go live. And while you're down there, please give us a thumbs up to like the video and also make sure you share our videos with your friends. All right guys, thanks so much for taking the time to watch our videos and thank you so much for your support. We really do appreciate you all. It is time to wrap this video up, guys. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.